It's our other big story at 10, a somber day in Oak Creek as thousands of people from across the nation came together to honor the victims of the Sikh Temple shooting. These six people died Sunday, gunned down in their place of worship. When police say Wade Page opened fire, killing them and injuring three others before turning the gun on himself. NBC 26's Brian Miller has more from today's emotional service. Well, thousands gathered to say goodbye to the shooting victims as several hundred thousand more watched on TVs worldwide. It's a tragedy that's brought people from all walks of life together to mourn. It was a day for praying and for hugging as mourners gathered at the Oak Creek High School gymnasium, passing by open caskets to say goodbye to the six victims of the sick temple shooting. Today I stand before you with our Father. And even in death, my Father had done more to promote awareness of the sick faith than he did when he was alive. Son of the temple's founder holds one of his father's many journals. There are four hundred of them. I would love for them to be translated. Um, there's plenty of coffee stains and they're amazing little pieces of work. And these brothers who lost their mother fight back tears as they share her story. Whatever she did, she was very unselfish about it. She lived for others. And while many dressed in traditional sick clothing, hundreds from outside the faith wore sick head coverings to show solidarity, including Governor Scott Walker. We mourn with you, we pray with you, and we support you. Grieving loved ones grateful for the outpouring of support hope that these deaths will educate others about a religion based on peace and continue to bring strangers from all faiths together as one. Today's service was scheduled for two hours, but so many people came and it was stretched out to four hours. Now the six will hold a more private and traditional religious ceremony for the victims. I'm Brian Miller, NBC 26.